everybody, or should I say, what's new, everybody? Here we have Dyson Airwraps. The first generation and the new next generation reintroduced Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler. The question is, how does this tool compare to the original? What have they changed? What have they phased out? And what have they upgraded? That's what we're gonna cover in today's video as I side by side style my hair with the older generation and the new and improved to see if the newbie is really gonna be faster and equal easier styling without extreme heat. As a Dyson partner, I've been one of the first people to get to try the Dyson Airwrap next generation and I have got all the air facts right from the source. So buckle in and keep watching to see all of my styling. I gotta get right to it, my hair's drying. I don't wanna air dry my hair, I wanna air wrap my hair. I have already gone ahead and prepped my hair. And if your hair is curly, then listen up. Prepping the hair is essential. You should always make sure that you're applying a heat protectant no matter what hair you have. But you're also gonna get better results on curly hair if you dry from wet. Don't let the hair air dry a little bit. If your curly hair is not wet, when you get started, then you're gonna be disappointed. There are two ways that we, not four, two ways that we can reshape the hair from its natural state. We either have to use extreme heat or air. So if we're using air, we gotta start with wet hair. So what is included with your Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler? The first generation and older model had 11 tools and accessories, which might sound great, but honestly, it was a lot of material. Personally, I didn't even use all of the attachments. I didn't find that I needed all of them for my hair, and it was a lot to carry. Less in this case is more. Dyson's goal was to reduce the amount of attachments, increase efficiency, and better our results. So while the next generation Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler comes with less tools and attachments, you are getting more out of them. So I have the Dyson Airwrap Multi Styler Complete Long in Copper Nickel. It comes with seven tools and attachments in this gorgeous carrying case. In Canada, it is also available in Complete, which comes with shorter barrels, but the Complete Long, which is what I have, has longer barrels, for longer hair and also more versatility. My hair isn't crazy long, but even if your hair is short, I would recommend the long attachments because one day you may decide to grow your hair and they work just the same. But anyways, these are all the attachments included in the set, which we are going to style with and talk through right now. So let's see here. We have the initial dryer. One of the biggest changes that Dyson made was phasing out of this dryer and introducing the new dual action Kawanda smoothing dryer. What makes her smoothing? Well, you'll get to see the flyaway attachment in action at the end of this video. But first, you would use this attachment to pre-style the hair and give it a bit of a rough dry before you go in with the attachments. Now, although you want the hair to be wet, you don't need it to be soaking wet. So to first take the hair from wet to damp, take the rotating cool tip and turn it until the arrow is aligned with that arrow there, and so that you can see the airflow right here. Obviously, if your hair is more naturally on the smooth, straight, to very loose, wavy side, you wanna start with your rough dry to about 80% dry. But when you have curly hair, just use this until your hair is no longer dripping. So let's talk about how this is feeling so far. The actual body of the stylers feel the exact same, which if you've never held one before, it is very comfortable in the hand. The weight is distributed really well within the tool and the way it comfortably fits in the hand perfectly aligns with my thumb to turn on the device and adjust the strength of the airflow and the temperature. There are three different settings of each and a cold shot when you push up the power button. As I'm rough drying the hair, I'm noticing more control with the new attachment. Because there was a smaller port for the air to flow out of, there's much more control, which actually helps with smoothing as well. Anytime you're doing a rough dry, you don't wanna actually roughly dry. And with the older blow dryer attachment, I feel like it really blew the hair around, which if you have curly hair, the tighter your curl pattern, the sooner you wanna bring out your smoothing attachments. The new Dyson Airwrap still comes with two smoothing brushes with the ball tips at the end of the teeth, very gentle on the scalp. And then the firm smoothing brushes, which are better for curly textured hair, which is what I will be using here. Now I want you to look up close. The biggest difference between the smoothing brushes is that the bristles move so much more. The biggest change that Dyson made to the smoothing attachments was the amount of airflow that flows through them. The older attachments definitely took longer to dry and smooth the section compared to the new attachments. I could actually feel the difference in the power of the airflow. Definitely dried the hair fast, 
both left the hair looking smooth and fabulous, but efficiency wise, there is a big difference with the new attachments that I really appreciate. I actually didn't feel like I got much use out of the older smoothing attachments. I would usually run straight for the round brush attachment. I truly would not be able to live without the round brush attachment. So Dyson kept these the same. These are about a one and a half smaller barrel round brush and they're meant for adding volume to fine hair, but I like using these to further smooth and shape the roots and the ends of my hair if they need it. You can see what a difference it makes because the round brush has so many more bristles it's gonna give a lot more tension to the hair and really pull and smooth out any kinks. We'll time how long these take me to finish the top section of my hair and we'll start with the new air wrap so this section can continue to air dry and give the other one a head start. I am using the tool on high heat and high speed by the way. With my texture, putting it on full heat is going to give me the smoothest results. And no, I'm not worried about heat damage. This is an air styler. It's still using air to power more than it is heat. So even though it's heat, it's not extreme heat. It definitely took me a little bit longer to dry the older side. And I know what you're thinking. Well, damn it. What if I already have the older version of the air wrap? I have good news for you. The re-engineered attachments are going to be available later on in 2022. And they are all compatible with your original tool. All of the attachments are interchangeable. Now give me a second, I am going to interchange these with my round brush attachments and just further finesse uh, the bang section. Now, the interchangeability is the best part because, well, these. Instead of needing two of these that you would have to switch out in order to switch the direction of your curl, Dyson has re-engineered their curling barrels. Now all you have to do is rotate the cool tip to change the direction. When curling with my older Dyson, it was always a bit of a burden to have to change the curling barrel when I wanted to switch the direction of the curl. So it is definitely more convenient to just be able to simply switch the airflow on the new attachments. It takes less brain power to figure out which attachment to put on, it helps you work more efficiently and the results are obviously very effective. These are just as, if not more powerful, plus it's one less tool to carry around. As we can see, both of these are gonna give me stunningly cutesy little curls, but the new one's gonna offer a lot more versatility. I have a very important pro tip to share when curling your hair with the Dyson Airwrap. You really need to nail that latch. Now watch me, I hold the tool close to my ends, I let the Kawanda effect do its thing and attach my hair, and I'm slowly going to draw the tool closer towards my roots. While I'm doing that, I'm rocking the tool back and forth, which is helping the hair really grip close to the barrel. This is gonna help give me a much smoother and tighter curl because it's applying more tension on the hair. Finally, once I'm at the root, I hold for just a couple seconds before flicking up the power button to activate the cool shot. Hold that for a few more seconds, shut the tool off, and release. If you do the curls this way, I promise you they will last so much longer in your hair. If you don't already have a Dyson Airwrap and you have no idea how this works, it's not magic, but it's really cool. So I want to explain the technology behind the Kawanda effect. Instead of extreme heat, it uses air to style and dry simultaneously. The Air Wrap is powered with the Dyson Digital Motor V9. This spins at up to 110,000 RPM, which generates 3.2 kPa, which will allow air and subsequently your hair to almost adhere to the tool. This is powerful enough to produce the air pressure that is needed to create the Kawanda effect. Here we are looking like a curly, whirly, swirly, twirly, murly, smelly, smelly, so good. Anyways. Let's finish off the look with the older model. There was no way that you could really finish and tuck away flyaways. But if we pop back on the Kawanda smoothing dryer, which as we can see still fits the older device perfectly, we can rotate the cool tip from pre-styling mode into the smoothing mode to let the Kawanda effect work its magic to tuck in all of those short little frizzies and flyaways for a sleeker, more smooth look. I'm gonna flick the switch to the cool setting and align this with my parting. See how it was absorbing and pulling up, sucking in, if you will, the longer strands? As it does that, it's tucking in the shorter strands. You can, you can see. Looking like a smoothie. Now I'm thirsty. Literally amazing. And to further tame this mane, I'm gonna take some hair oil. 
I'm gonna start with the light one, Olaplex Bonding Oil. I'm gonna apply this through my ends, and I'm gonna pop on the soft smoothing dryer. And while still on the cool setting, I am going to gently brush through these curls. And look at that, it's just another little trick that you can do to further smooth. What do you guys think of my results? I have always been impressed by the Dyson Airwrap, but the new attachments are that much better. Absolutely. All in one tool, you have a multi-styler re-engineered to definitely be a lot more efficient, which I know can be frustrating if you have the older model of the Airwrap, but on the bright side, all of the attachments are interchangeable and they will be available to you. So no matter what tool you have, you can still use. Do you already have the older Dyson? And if you do, are you gonna be getting the new attachments? I highly recommend. And I will put the links for them in the description box below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found this tutorial helpful in order to achieve this look on curly hair. And stay tuned by subscribing to see more tutorials and tips and tricks from me, your main girl Mel, professional hairstylist, and naturally curly gal. Ready? Hey. We've got a new wrap in the box. Wrap. Gift. Wrap. There's a new wrap in the box, and we're gonna tack it back what I think about that. I don't know what I rhyme. Your hair looks fucking amazing. I know, it looks really good. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. Your color looks good too. These are much longer, as if they had an erection. What? That's just what rhymed. I'm disgusting. Mm, I'm sorry I'm comfortable speaking about anatomy. Sue me. Words can't bring me down. Resist. And um, I need to sing my way through these. Can I think my teeth? No. You're, You're lying to me. You're good. Is there blueberries in my teeth right no. now? I just can't deal with this kind of stress.